Okay, uh, we did this shot and I, th uh, I thought, well, why not to record uh, the video? Uh, it wasn't planned, uh, but it's cool, it's kind of coming cool. Dark beer, porter, right? And uh, a glass with that beer. The result is what you see. We uh, were coming to this not an easy way. Uh, let me tell you the final result, okay? Well, it was basically a 10 minutes shot. Diffuser, right? To get a gradient on both. Uh, mostly you see that gradient, uh, very nice gradient on the glass, okay? Then you see the sharp angle. It's, it's well, you probably don't see, but it's really sharp angle of strip box that is behind. This is for that. Uh, let me turn off the rest of the light so you see how it works. Okay, one light source, only one. This is the result. Okay, so you see it. Let's add one more light from behind. This is from behind and on the side to create an edge. Uh, plus to uh, shoot a little bit through the glass. Uh, when we shoot through the glass, uh, we'll show that uh, this is actually uh, not a dark bottle, not a black bottle, but a brown, dark brown. So with two light sources, uh, it looks like this, okay? And then we're missing the label and we're missing the uh, form that on top. Form can be enhanced, uh, you know, when you steer it, right, with something. Uh, but first we need to highlight it, plus the label. How to highlight a label on a glossy uh, bottle? If you just put a light from here, it will be a bright spot on a glossy uh, part on the glass and on, a, on the bottle. And the only, I, what will work, is that you can shoot either from, from below, from the bottom, or from top, with the angle that at this angle, glossy parts will reflect that little spotlight, little spotlight that we have here. And the reflection won't come to the lens, okay? The angle will be like that. When we shoot in at this angle, the reflection from a glossy part will come there, right? Not like that. So it goes there and reflecting there, not to the lens, which is here, okay? You got it. Uh, this is why we have it on top. However, diffused parts, uh, matte parts, matte uh, surfaces will matte surface will diffuse it and uh, be bright. This is what what will work for the form and for the label. Let's shoot. You will see, and then I steer to make uh, our form. You see, form is highlighted and the label is highlighted, and it all looks cool. So. I'm steering to get a little bit more of the form. Okay, bam. And bam one more time. Okay, perfect. We have little highlights from our spot, but it's not a Big problem, it's just little. It's so easy to make them go away in Photoshop. If for some reason we're not experienced and we put light like this, the reflection from that light will be probably quite more visible, okay? Huge difference just because we changed angle just a little bit, okay? We got in reflection on the glossy parts. Okay, uh, this is it. It was Alex Koloskov from 40g.com, the best online photography school in the world. If you want to learn product photography, come to us and uh, take either certification program or uh, subscribe to ProClub and uh, in a few months you will have beautiful photos for your portfolio and great experience in product photography. Okay, see you guys on the courses. Goodbye.